They killed us because we were Armenians. They forced us out of our homes and towns. Our throats were cut. We were burned alive and starved. Only one body in a museum was to be preserved. Men were killed. Women were raped and children enslaved. As we watched the death of a nation permanently engraved, the world had turned its back on us as did God as we were covered under oblivion and blood. Dark clouds upon us, our tears got mixed up with the rain. Even Hitler promised no one would remember our name. But we survived to tell the world of our genocide. Ottomans were guilty. Turkey no longer can hide. Through all of the wounds, devastation, and frost, we survived to be a proof that they have lost. As we're still here, and we still smile, and we still grow, and everywhere in the world, our culture will flow. They've lost because we stood up again, demanding for our blood not to spill in vain. They've lost because everywhere that we went, we left a good mark still create and invent. They've lost as long as our music is heard, as long as Aram's sabers are stirred, as long as Giovanni's melancholia is here, and Arno's elegia is a reflection of our tear. For as long as Cher believes in life after love, and his heritage is what Aznavour is proud of, for as long as Loris is waving his hands, and System of a Down is the king of rock bands, they lost when they made Comitas immortal. Just as Rosie's and Gohar's voices are eternal. They've lost, for they wore black and Levon was white. And Tigran and Gary never went down without a fight. Arthur celebrates wins the Armenian style. As Nazik lifts weights with her delicate smile. They've lost, for the world of tennis can never forget. David's magic, nor Andre's final set. They've lost, for Andronic is the captain of Iran. And Dortmund means nothing without Mkhitaryan. They lost when Le Bleu avec Allen and Yuri won the World Cup and made football history. Alain Prost the fast, Tarkanian the smart. Enough of sports. Let's talk about art. Vanush choreographed and gave us instruction as we danced our way out of pain and destruction. Here's Victoria now and her graceful spins in ballet. David and Vanessa, and a standing ovation in Bay. Flashback to Karsh's portraits of Churchill and Warhol, as the Iranian highland was captured by Nicole. Arshil's grim brush reflects on his memories of Van, yet a colorful Armenia on the canvas of Saryan. Our stories, though bitter, are sweetened with our wit. Read Savag or Carapence, and you'll probably admit. Like Vardan storms the stage as William Saroyan tells the world how it feels to meet another Armenian. Azalian won the Oscar for a story of Holocaust. We could see that Turkey, too, will pay back the cost. And even before Akin had Martin back with the cut, Adam responded to deniers with his Ararat. Peleshian documenting the seasons of Homeland. Frunzik's nose becoming an Armenian brand. Parajanov's self-expression through film and collage. Mamoulian's inventive techniques of montage. As Vernul's Myrick showed our pain of displacement. Gurigian's Unistu de Four is a modern-day statement. Eric's soon to unveil a follow-up to Operation Nemesis. It's called Pride of Prejudice, and here's a synopsis. Simon Abkarian is a hitman, searching with his gun 
for a new monster that Circus plays, known as Erdogan. This is not hate speech. We demand acceptance. For we're not a nation thirsty of vengeance. For as long as we live, and as long as we create, Turkey is guilty despite lies they fabricate. A path to reconciliation is as bright as the day. For as long as Haran Dink is showing us the way, as long as we have our own Peter and Paul, we can think on our own and stop being irrational. For as long as Maria lectures the art of reason and Christopher reveals the internet's prison, as long as Alexis celebrates his birthday and Nancy and Peter promise a new day, as long as Conan does the Armenian sway and Adam Nurian's story is getting on its way, good old Ruben's songs will keep playing in our head. And with Tamanian's tales, our kids will go to bed. We shall from now on celebrate April 25 to show everyone that we are still alive.